Yeah. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> or something. Um, so here we go. Hi, folks. <laughs> oh, we're here. Welcome to Dragonlance. Dragonlance. Dragons of Rebirth. Oh, what a feeling. You know, when your stew gets ruined. Oh my gosh. I mean... Never, never going to let that down. But, 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 we Us. have, we have a full, we have a full table today. Um, so, no vamp episode. Awesome. <laughs> um, and... Miss you, uh, um, roll 20 portion of Ryan. <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> Yeah, here's a proper place for it now. <laughs> here we go. Um, so yeah, we're here. We're um, ridiculous, and we're gonna have some chaos. Dragonigans. And sure, Dragonigans. You know, as you do. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Um. So why don't I let the cast like introduce themselves and stuff? Because me talking is golly, this is not gonna go well tonight. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm excited. So, Stephanie, go ahead and introduce yourself to the folks at home. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm Stephanie. <laughs> 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 I'm Stephanie. <laughs> um, I'm Tia Tails Everywhere, and cool. I am playing formally Dewdrop Dapperling as of last session. Do drop Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> uh, teddy bear extraordinaire and stew ruiner. Uh, yes, yes. Um, and occasionally a cleric. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, we had like really touching moments with gods and everything like that. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. so great. Yeah. And then we went to putting strawberries in the stew. It's like yeah oh, okay that's okay um let's see what happens today <laughs> <laughs> thank you stephanie i uh, love you <laughs> uh, uh jake here yeah hello everyone my name is jacob Blake. do walking jacob on the internet uh tonight i will continue to uh play i guess continue um play as a Weird word. Anyway, uh, Professor Isonoff officially revealed Professor Isonoff Moonfield Spring Branch. So, white robed, uh, white, white robed wizard of high sorcery. Boom it's going to be a good city. time. Boom, Boom city. city. Yeah. And uh, death by stew uh, It's better than an ancient green dragon. So, it should be a good time. It's true. Or, it could be the ancient green dragon the whole time. Oh no, stew mimics! Oh lord. <laughs> yes, stew mimics. Roll for initiative. Oh, okay. yeah. um, thank you, Strawberry tart Jacob. mimics. Uh, oh no, God. <laughs> Audrey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Audrey, also known as Dornier Rain. I'll be playing Aerith Strumpuff, a Minotaur Sorcerer of the White Robes for you today. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, yeah, yeah, so good. And the favorite son has returned. Mahel. Hi, everybody. I'm Ryan <laughs> at Bayleg Marauden, and I will be playing Mahel, everybody's most hated Knight of the Nobody Sword, soon to be everybody's Nobody most hated them. Knight of the Rose. Nobody hates him. Nobody hates him. Yeah. Everybody hates him. And hates I'm Maddie, aka So Maddy Games. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm the dumbass master of this game and other Dragonlance games here and across this great land of ours. And, you know, occasionally I, I play some D&D. &D. A little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Um, not too much, right? I don't know what that means. Um, nope. But, uh, just to give everybody a little bit of fair warning, so... Um, I've been dealing with a kidney stone for the last, I don't know, what's it been, like four or five days or so. 
I'm losing count. Um, and on top of that, have like a like a tooth issue and stuff like that. Um, so it's like I have not been getting enough sleep, you know, because ouchy. Um, so yeah, I probably shouldn't be running D and D right now, but I'm going to. And it's <laughs> going to be fantastic um, because I built a manor. And it, we might not well. even get there, man. No, no, not with this group. No, no. We hardly ever leave the kettle. Uh, I love it. I love it. So, let's do Look a little of this world. a little recap, right? Okay. Door. So, last time on Dragons of Rebirth, we all, and when I say we all, I mean our intrepid group. The Rebirth fam um, all showed up with uh, Fuzzy Bottom and Oswald in tow to the library. And when they opened the door, Kalos was not there. But his stuff was there. Like, there's books all spread out. Oh, no. Really? God damn it. Um, okay, cool. Now I'm getting a little beepy thing. Like, like Oh, the headset? The headset needs to <laughs> um, then I had that problem yesterday. No the feeling. Right at the beginning of the stream. Right at the beginning of my recap, damn it. Um, <laughs> you know, I am struggling so hard to remember stuff for this recap right now. Um... That it's all leaving my head as we speak. Okay. <laughs> Just the words float away. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Bye, words. So, uh, books all strewn over the desk, and our group begins investigating. And we learn a few things because they're a bunch of smarties. Um,. Even the one who decided to just like run around under tables actually served a purpose because there was something under the table. Since I <laughs> wouldn't usually serve a purpose. <laughs> Kalos, Kalos's ring was under the table. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that's why Oswald couldn't reach him. And, yeah, Kalos might have been doing some research into a certain green dragon whose name might be Anaya Twain. <laughs> and I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> what I love uh -huh. most about the name of that dragon is I only said the first name of that dragon for months. And boy, do I remember hearing people go, gosh, that's a really nice name. I like that name. It's a nice name. I ruined it. It was until you put the last name on it. <laughs> <laughs> it made it perfect. Yeah. Yes. So. That's killer. <laughs> Kalos. Well, yes, please. Go ahead. That's what you got to do. Go and kill Anaya Twain. But, you know, Kalos was trying to, like, do some research into this uh, ancient green dragon named Anaya Twain. I'm going to keep saying that, Jacob. Um... <laughs> oh, I'm very aware. I will, I will uh, re revenge next Sunday. Yes, I know. Um, it, this, is, this is the thing. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jay, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Um, so we uh so Callus was doing some research into the ancient green dragon named Anaya Twain. And apparently was you know trying to find a way to help his brother get rid of his dragon mark. 
And, well, maybe Kalos got a little too close to the ancient green dragon named Anaya Twain. Because the ancient green dragon named Anaya Twain came in and took Kalos. Left his ring, left his book. And then, of course, all of the sleuthing and the 35 arcana, I think, that Isenov got on that roll. Um, What's Legend more? Really couldn't tell for sure that Anaya Twain took Kalos until Mahel started screaming <laughs> because Mahel's dragon mark grew and was burning and all he could hear through the searing pain was the laughter of one Anaya Twain. And he knew she took Kalos. So Oswald did what he could to block Anaya Twain's ability to affect the dragon mark, at least temporarily. And a very weakened and tired Mahel was escorted to bed. So the rest of our group, well, very responsible young sorcerer decided to do some more research. <laughs> means well <laughs> cleric decided to ruin a stew but I ruin it i made it better by putting strawberries in the stroganoff just whatever berries i could find yeah and bugs Cantaloupe. you didn't let i couldn't find any bugs there's no bugs in it because i couldn't find any bugs to put in it you found you, you always you always have at least one Oh, well, okay. Professor but... got rid of all the bugs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Still, strawberries. I could only find just enough bugs to like make it a garnish. Strawberries. Seasoning. Yes. Once, uh, once, uh, Professor, once Mima <laughs> tries my stew, I want to make sure I take a bowl to Mahel so he feels better. Yes. So. <laughs> We also learned about, you know, the, we learned the professor's name and stuff like that. But you know what the professor did? The professor had her thinking cap on. Because her thinking cap's the graduation cap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> True that. Best kind of thinking cap. And decides to cast legend lore doesn't cast legend lore on the ancient green dragon named Anaya Twain. Hell to the mom. <laughs> she casts legend lore on the Qualinesti Forest. And this is where we got one hell of a lore dump. Yeah. That was not written by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. And, Eddie you know, it's not, you know, it all came out of my ass, basically. But I wrote it. Because we're in the Maddieverse. So not a lore dump, but an ass dump. Oh, it's a lore dump and an ass dump. <laughs> so a dump? Oh, Seven, eight dumps. Dump, dump, dump. So dump. just a dump. You know, <laughs> like a brick house. Okay, so... We learned 
that the Kualanesti Forest, long before the Kualanesti Elves came there, was the home to the first green dragon, the grandparent of Anaya Twain. And that the grandparent of the Fuzz, the parent to Donnie Wahlberg, was the one that went in and cleared that forest out of that dragon. We learned that the large lake in the center of the forest was once pure chlorine and then we saw the city of Qualanost as the army was amassing there you could see the army leave disappear as the city collapsed into the earth. And in its wake, the two surrounding rivers filled it. And the only thing that you can see now is the top of the um, Tower of the Stars, Tower of the Sun, whichever one is called. Um, and what the professor also learned was that somewhere along that large lake in the city in the center of the forest somewhere around that lake they would find the lair of one Nye Twain And then we went to the stew thing. Um, also, Jew is insistent on talking to the green dragon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trying to relocate them right. from their rightful home. Right. <laughs> yeah. Or original home. <laughs> do wants, do believes, do believes <laughs> that they can talk the ancient green dragon into just leaving and finding a new home. Asking nicely. Right. And that this will solve all the problems. Please and thank you go a long way. <laughs> giving up their life's work of reobtaining their home. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just, you know... <laughs> But also, like all the other bad things that they're doing, they can do anywhere, really. Yeah. Maybe somewhere that doesn't hurt other people. Well, the city was abandoned. Yeah. So there's no one to hurt. This is true. This is not for us to decide, though. This is for... They might be hurting Kalos right now. Oh, she is, yeah. Yeah, we want to relocate. But that doesn't have anything to do with relocating. Or we, we just need to get him back. <laughs> Hopefully alive. And then, of course, uh, there was some talk of moving things up in the <laughs> ceremonies of things so that Mahel could receive his quest and be on his way to save his brother. They're working on that. <laughs> and with that, I think we'll return to, you know, Dragons of Rebirth. Biggity <laughs> bong. Here's the, oh, here we go.
and I'm going to go with, yeah, okay, so, y'all had a night rest, y'all slept, though, for some of you, sleep was kind of difficult. The hell. After being taken to your room, you really can't even process what's happening. The pain was so excruciating. And that coupled with the violently ill feeling that you get whenever that dragon mark starts to spark, you just pass out from, from the pain, from the, from the nausea. And you find yourself standing in this once familiar forest. You you were just here what, four or five days ago. It's still it's quiet. It's acrid. There's no wildlife. Is this similar to when we were in the tower? How it how it looked? In the similar tower. In the tower, uh, and the tower showed us when we faced off against the green dragon. Oh right, right, right. Like no. We took it over and it <clears throat> feels I mean it feels like that right but you were just here like not that long ago and it definitely feels it feels darker it feels it smells worse And the only thing you can hear is this clicking. And as the fog rolls through, you take one whiff and realize it's not fog. And as you begin to gasp, cough, choke, you see her eyes. Bright I draw my weapon. And her eyes, her eyeball. Is as big as your head. And now, do. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> you fall asleep like. You know, like you normally do. Under the bed. Under the bed. Surrounded by Pop Tarts. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that sounds you know, so great. <laughs> and, you know, your mind just keeps going to that. To the hell. Where is he? 
I would like to not have to cut off his arm if I could. I should have, uh, I really should have brought him that stew. Oh yeah, why didn't I, I do that? I didn't wake up. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I guess they, there's plenty of it left. I can give it to him in the morning. It'd be a great breakfast. <laughs> I just like crack an egg on it. It'd be great. Wait a minute. Wait, if Callus is gone. Is the hell next? <gasps> Does that mean I'm gonna get a dragon mark? Wait a minute. I should go see my hell. Yeah, at that point I'd probably want to sleep under his bed just in case. <laughs> As you wake up and slam your head into the top of the bed. I And we go back to the hell. As you draw your blade. And you are standing there, pulling this blade from your scabbard. The scabbard that's tied around, like connected to your belts around your waist. That is currently holding your pajamas up. Like, and I mean, just pajama bottoms. And then you look down, you're like, oh crap. <laughs> Where the fuck's my armor? I just got this new armor. What's the. Uh... But. The poison, the chlorine, the, the sickness, the, the coughing, the, the eyes. Everything feels really, really wacky. And then you feel something very warm on your chest. And this is where you wake up to find Dew sitting on your chest <laughs> with a bowl of stew. Oh, yeah. Stew. Yeah. Dew. Hmm? Thank you. You're awake. Yeah. I couldn't wake up earlier, so I went back and then I came back as I started to get a little worried. I didn't want you to disappear. I was gonna wait here with Stu and then I was, if you didn't wake up, I was gonna go under your bed and, and fall asleep under your bed, but then I wasn't sure how you'd feel about bugs under your bed. But if I ate them all and cleaned them up, then I think it'd be okay. Thank you, Do. Or and I could leave I'll... the Pop-Tarts in the closet so the bugs can't get out. I'm gonna take a big bite of the stew. Roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> I made it myself. Well, Do you want me to roll a constitution saving throw? No. Uh, after, the, after the night you've had? Yes. <laughs> Any food I... is going to like make you think twice, but food that you're not expecting? Okay. So, you're good. Technically, Mr. Mr. Fuzzy Bottom made it, and then um, he told me about stew, so I decided to try to add to change it or it's uh, so good. It? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I put all my favorite foods in except for bugs because I couldn't find any bugs in the kitchen. Uh, but I put a lot of strawberries in it because I really like strawberry tarts. And That's good. I enjoy I, it. Thank really? you. Really? Okay. I'll make it again then. Uh, I have to have Mr. Fuzzy Bottom make the first part and then I can add the strawberries. <laughs> um, <laughs> can you get off my chest? Oh! Yeah, okay. <clears throat> yes. I will climb down. Oh you, my goodness. Um, <clears throat> do you feel better? I'm worried. Do I have to cut off your arm? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Only if we find somebody that'll make me a cool, like, mechanical arm. 
<gasps> that would be cool. I bet Mr. Copperpot could. So, um, Ryan, you're kind of, you're more awake now than you've been in a while. And you're starting to feel the dragon mark. Um, which is now crawled up the side of your face. I don't think cutting off the arm is going to work. That's what I was worried about, but I wasn't sure because it started at the arm and I thought that maybe if we stop it at the source, it might stop crawling up your skin. But I, I don't know. I mean, it it's scary, but it kind of looks cool, but it's more scary than cool. Um, I'm going to try and tentatively touch my connection to it. Okay. Um, to see if I can still do the things that I was able to do before. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> yes. You are able to still reap the benefits of it as they are. Um, they do, as you begin to manifest them to, you know, like just kind of assess them, um, they do still bring that, that bubble of, of bleh into your stomach, you know? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Um, but yes, you are able to still utilize them. Um, but it does feel quiet. Like oddly quiet, you know? Like when you're used to like hearing your cat snore you know and then it's just like you don't hear that sound you're like but i thought they were sleeping you know, why aren't they snoring you know um because yeah oswald is like kind of been able to sever the connection that kind of always sounded like a cat snoring. Have we made any progress on locating Kalos? Uh, yes, but I don't want to tell you because it's not good news. Tell me anyway. I think the big green uh, dragon lady has him, probably. I think, for sure. <clears throat> Definitely, without a doubt. But I have a very good plan. And it involves a please and a thank you. <laughs> Not kicking? Not this time. Only if I have to. But I... Only if I have to. I don't think... Well, okay, I don't know. She's mean, but it's her home. And they kicked her out of her home, and then she came back to her home, and now they're mad that she's back. But it was her home first. Does that excuse what she's doing to Kalos right now? No. Also, we don't know what she's doing to Kalos right now. But no, but also, like, I don't know. They might be upset. I would be upset if somebody kicked me out of my home and then, and then I tried to come back and they were like, no. I probably wouldn't, you know, take people 
but maybe she's just really angry. And maybe if we talk to her, she won't be so angry. And if she's not angry, then maybe she'll listen. I'm gonna uh, grab Dew on the shoulders and like get like right in front of their face. I'm gonna say, Dew, I love you. You are the best friend I have in this world. Mm -hmm. I know. But I'm going to kill that green dragon. And then I'm gonna stand up and walk out. Nice. <clears throat> I'm gonna pout on the bed. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a bite of the stew and realize how gross it actually is. The hell didn't even change a face. Yeah. So, as Dew leave. comes to this realization, <laughs> um, we find um, we find the professor you know, you wake up, you, you had a, you had a great night's sleep. Like, wow, it's really good. And you're, you're getting up and you realize you like left some stuff in the library. You now, let's head on down to the library, right? As you open the door, there's Aerith passed out <laughs> at the table where Callus was working books everywhere like there's like five like burnt out candles just like on different little things and and have you ever heard a minotaur snore <laughs> In and a I'm library? a deep sleeper. <laughs> in a library? Considering the denizens of the tower, I would say highly likely, yes. But <laughs> it's loud. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, as I sort of step in, there's a, a bit of a, a grin on, uh, on her face. Uh, and she'll kind of start to quietly sort of stack things up um, and then just say uh, out loud enough to try and, and, and wake her it's been a while since I've had an, an all night in the library did you enjoy yours? yeah she doesn't wake up <laughs> Aerith is a very deep sleeper as we've Unfortunately, found out. <laughs> so, seeing that takes a book and drops it on another book. Jeez. That would work. <laughs> That's loud enough. So uh, I would wake up startled, and I, in the process, I'd, I'd knock my, down my my notes. And go, <laughs> oh, uh, what? Oh, I was, uh, <sighs> Professor. I'm so sorry. Uh, how long have I been out? Good what morning, time is it? Dear. Good morning. Good, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That that <laughs> that hurts. Yep. Uh, oh, anyway, it's quite uh, all right. No I'm need gonna, to apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna gather up all of my papers that I just knocked over. Was I able to discern anything about what Kalos was? what he might have stumbled on that made him that prompted him to try and try that ritual it's, that kind of you know made the green dragon aware of where he was it's all very you know you found something <laughs> but like oh my god what was where are my notes oh my god I wrote so many things down and it's just like in your not sleeping, you know, <laughs> um, you know how you just kind of get a little, 
Um, like Mattias right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, like we, okay, yeah. And you're really trying to process this stuff, but you're just waking up, you didn't sleep well, the professor just woke you up with books. <laughs> and, and then you're realizing right now, you did not get up to go eat dinner. Now, some food was brought to you. I do remember yes. that. But you usually eat a lot more than that. Yes. <laughs> You're hungry right now. That's messing with your mind, too. It's not there yet. It's just not there. You know, okay. but it'll come to you. It'll come to you. Oh, she's a. Uh... I wrote so I'm really hungry. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go get something to eat real quick and see if that studies my mind. I, uh, I found a lot, his writing is atrocious. I had to kind of do my own research to figure out what he had done. Uh, uh, I'm, I First really all, need to get something to eat. <laughs> hold on. First of all, breathe. Believe me, I've been in these shoes many a times. You know what always helps? And uh, kind of reaches a hand over and uh, she brought with her a uh, saucer and cup of tea um, and slides it over. Then, then get that all settled, then eat, then we'll talk about what you found. Right, okay. And she begins, what, what's on the, oh, so the tea, so you have offered her tea? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try some of it. What kind? What is it? It is a uh, is actually a, a tea. Um, um, there's like a hint of of honey and uh, and strawberries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. I'll definitely consume that for sure. It's it's it tastes. This is wow. This this is really really good. I don't normally drink tea. This is really delicious. Is this uh, your creation? An old Isenoff recipe. <laughs> it's saving it for a rainy day. Oh, well, thank you. I'm, I'm honored. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> Typically, it's it, uh, old, old habits die hard. I, uh, if I'm ever stuck on an idea or can't quite put an equation together, this is uh, something where I'll, I'll go and sort of just clear out the proverbial noise and just sip on some tea. <laughs> I'll and, have to try and adopt that. And just as you say that, you could have, you could swear you, you smell like fresh baked biscuits, sausage, bacon. <laughs> As the doors swing open, Mr. Fuzzybottom walks in. Oh, hi. Um, though, did either one of you sleep or was it just Aerith that like fucking here? Because I heard the snoring, <laughs> but I didn't hear the snore. So, good, you know. good morning. I actually just came in. I had a wonderful night's sleep. Oh, that's good. Um, are you hungry? I brought breakfast. <laughs> if you could oh, see, Aerith is actually kind of blushing a little bit, and uh, but very looking, eye, eyeing that that dish that he's bringing in. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, Aerith, you've heard me snore. I'm a dragon. <laughs> I really snore. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, right. here you guys go. Um, I wonder if Hell's um, feeling any better. Uh, wait, is that, that's the hell right there. Oh. I'm Al. Aerith will stand up and um. immediately and, and look towards Mahal because of the, uh, the experience he had. You want some breakfast? <clears throat> I think, yeah, he's gonna, um, he's gonna walk in smile at fuzzy bottom and then um like dish some up uh -huh. but then he's gonna sit off by himself to eat it 
Okay, that's cool. Um, all right then. Drags their feet in. Like, 30 seconds later, looking super mopey. Good morning, uh, well, to the both of you. Mm. Busy, uh, busy evening? No, I slept. Uh, breakfast, too? What is it? Uh, it's, well, I got biscuits and gravy, and I got, uh, some bacon, and eggs, and, um, yeah. There's sausage in the gravy. That's kind of gravy, then. I'm okay right now. I'll um, come get some later. I, I also have some strawberry tarts. They're my mom's recipe. Fresh out of the oven. I'm going to come over, and I'll grab, like, three of them. And I'm going to shove them in my pocket, and I'm going to go sit down. Yeah. We're going to do everything we can do to get him back. Oh. Oh. Right. Tell us. Yeah. Yep. Are you perhaps more concerned about the stew situation? No, that stew is really gross. Did, what, you, did what, you really like it? What stew situation? I fixed the stew. You fixed it was the not... Right Fix the stew. I think when one creates something brand new, there's you have to start somewhere. Good yeah, ideas I... just needed to be executed better. That's all. Executed? <laughs> Duke gets really sad at this. <laughs> 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 Bunch of strawberries walk in the plank. <laughs> Did do execute my stew? No. Well, I, I, all right. Put Let's... strawberries in it. You put what? Well, because I Stra like stew and I like strawberry tarts, so I thought that I would put strawberries in the stew and make it better. Was it better? Strawberries don't typically typically go in stew. I know. I'm, I'm just curious, dude. Did you find the stew better with the strawberries in it? No, it was horrible. But <sighs> Mima and, and Mahal said it was really good. They to did, be they clear, did. <laughs> did not exactly say that it was. It was that. It was. The jury was. At, nope. That's that won't help here either. You didn't um, like it. No, I didn't really care for it. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, uh, but. So, I guess strawberries don't go in stew. Or, the hell is really weird. Well, I like strawberries in stew. I think we've all established that. Yes, that's not any new news, dear. But, it's possible that other things could go in stew. Like bugs? But also, there's... Not quite. I don't know. I've never tried it. But there are multitudes of different types of stews as well. Perhaps you could use your bugs as a base or some sort of stock. I don't know what most of that was that you just said. All that to say okay. that though this was not a winning combination, it doesn't mean that you can't try and do something else. So don't get too discouraged. Oh, it's fine that you didn't like the stew. I'm not right. worried about that. All right. Well, what are you worried about? Just an ancient green dragon problem, right? I'm just going to, like, lean over to Professor. Mel wants to kill her. Then he wouldn't listen to me. I'm not surprised. <laughs> she says <it> out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. Well, I thought I had a good idea. I think it is a good idea. But I think we have to be prepared for, well, option B. 
Which is that option? Option M for murder. Or B for body. Or C for carcass. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. You started this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess he just, I'm just, I'm used to him helping people. And that was the first time that he just said he's going to kill something. He's not usually like that. But he's a man of great conviction, right? I don't know what that means. <laughs> <clears throat> I believe that he believes that he's doing the right, he's making the right decision. I don't think he's making the right decision. What if it ruins him? What if it breaks? What if he's not like he was before? He might not be. Well, I don't like that. Do. What if... <laughs> <laughs> We're having a private conversation. Yeah. At my table. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> That's the point. That's literally the point. <laughs> what? Have you ever thought that the mark is changing him? It was intent it was hinted that in order for us to save him, we would have to defeat her. What if she's making him worse i think she's muted <laughs> oh i'm just talking really quietly okay <laughs> maybe maybe i can just ask her nicely and that is a very plausible hey please option. don't hurt my friend and then we will find you a new home but I don't believe that marks can be removed once they're given, unless the source dies. So we should cut off his arm. Or we eliminate the dragon. I've just met so many nice dragons. And I know that she's not nice, but what if she could be? Well, I think it's less well, that of... one was really scary, though. She wanted to turn me into a teddy bear. Right. But she gave me a teddy bear in the end, which means she was really mean, and then she was nice. So why can't the big green one be mean and then be nice? Because they don't have a teddy bear. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Her, what if I give her my teddy bear? <laughs> See, here's the thing, too. I think that this particular dragon... Huh? is not interested in teddy bears and is likely based off of what we know of of her not likely to be interested in conversation either what about so presents? What we, need... we brought a present to the mean one and then she gave me a teddy bear so what if we get the green one a present and go Please don't hurt our friends anymore. Tell you what. Hmm. I would actually be very interested in hearing what all of this means to this dragon. This forest. What they want long term. Mm -hmm. And if presence, well, that avoids bloodshed, and so be it. But to be clear, I don't think that it's very likely. But I don't think Mahel's going to give us a chance. He might just stab her in the eyeball as soon as he sees her. And then she's going to definitely kill him then. Because he can't kill a dragon. Have you seen him? He's so small. I was there last time, remember? Yeah. Didn't go I so mean, well. I almost killed him and I was just a giant ape. Can you imagine what a dragon would do to him? I do have a vivid imagination. 
So we can't let him fight the dragon. Not by himself, no. That dragon's going to eat us all. That is a possibility. Then we have to talk to her. Get her presents. Maybe I could ask Mr. Copperpot what Green Dragon wants for presents. That might be the best idea I've heard in the last three days. See, I do come up with good ideas. I've Great never ideas. said you didn't. Great ideas. Yeah. Huh. I shh. This is a secret conversation. Mr. Fuzzy Bottom? Um, uh, it's not Fuzzy Bottom. That's not oh, Fuzzy Bottom. Oh, that's not Fuzzy, fuzzy Bottom. Oh! <laughs> that's Oswald. <laughs> that's Oswald. Awesome. Uh. conversations <laughs> are happening in my house. Wow. Uh, if that, if that, Oswald that, has walked into, is that in Dew's head? Or no, he has walked Oswald in. walked in? showed up. That's fine. I don't have that great of a perception. I probably would have never even noticed. Yeah. Dragon stoop. <laughs> The hell's going to stand up, um, walk over to Oswald. So, um, when do we leave? <clears throat> Thirdian is preparing the uh, manor as we speak. They're setting up for your ceremony to be presented at my home in Palanthus. Well, that was quick. Homes? Yes. So many. Rescue mission. Yes. We will have to hear from Gunther what your mission, your quest will be. But Thirdian has spoken with Gunther. Thirdian has witnessed the size of this army that was in Qualanost, and now we don't know where it is. That should get. Gunther's attention. I have a good feeling these will go hand in hand. But we have to do this. We have to do this crap. It's either that or you give up on your knighthood altogether. Kalos wouldn't want that. No, Kalos would not want that. So, a few days. It will take. It will take a couple of days. But we will be going to the. Um, we will be going to Copperstone. Here. Once everyone is eaten and packed, we have a teleportation circle in the basement. Thank you, my lord. Yes. <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> do. I think that you are very thoughtful and wise, looking for alternatives to have to battle a dragon like Anaya. You're looking for alternatives because you're afraid that none of you can defeat her. I'm mostly worried that Mahel's gonna do something stupid and die. Hmm. So you're looking for alternatives. Yeah. That's good. 
that is what will make you a good second. Okay. None of you can defeat Anaya alone. Together, you might. And come to? I will do what I can. Okay. Do you know if she likes anything for presents? Like teddy that's, bears? That's... Or weird claws? Not, no. She. Her favorite gifts are things that she can toy with. So she likes toys. Yes. Okay. Like puzzles or Kalos. Like Kalos and Mahel. Oh. Well she can't have them. I want nothing more than this person to pay for her crimes. But <clears throat> we'll see. And then he looks over at the hell. I want to kill her too. Did you all have a past? A bit. <clears throat> But we had a very um, weird argument over something inconsequential about 400 years ago. And then I didn't hear from her at all. Sorry. That's how long she stews. Four hundred year grudge. Mm. What if you just talk about it, and then She's you can say sorry. She's waited four hundred years to take. Ryan, you're muted said maybe we could just add some strawberries <laughs> right she waited 400 years to get her revenge on my kids <clears throat> my family that's different we're gonna we're gonna get cows and we're gonna we're going to free that forest. As he looks at Mr. Fuzzy Bottom, just like your grandma. Anyway, I have some things to get ready. Um, if you all will meet me in the basement in about an hour we will teleport to Copperstone as he begins to kind of walk walk out you know um, conflict between two people Typically never escalates farther than that in many cases. But of two dragons, I can imagine 
villages and cities fall? Are there more situations like this? You have no idea, sister. Muted. <clears throat> you have no idea. I think I have a, a hunch. <clears throat> it's really hard living on a planet with a bunch of dragons. Yeah. I get that. And that's honestly one of the main reasons why most of us, at least on the metallic side, tend to be in human form. We cause less damage. Want to be a dragon, though. But mess with my family. Hmm. I'm ready to turn that lake into an ice skating rink. <laughs> We'll leave it an hour. And he just turns around and heads out. We should pack. <clears throat> well, it's easy when you haven't really unpacked. <laughs> Easier when you don't have things. Right. Um, you know, I'm so used to traveling and stuff like that that I don't know, I don't really unpack. But I like to keep some stuff here, and I keep some stuff uh, at Copperstone, and back in Newport, at the Hamster Wheel, and oh, lots of places. You know? <clears throat> yeah, it's been a long time since I've been in my mom's keep. Huh. Let's go back there. Okay. Maybe after this is all over. Anyway, um, I'll go pack some lunches. <laughs> <clears throat> I never really did like the cook that they hired at the Copperstone. We appreciate your whatever you give us. And he's gone. Mal goes back up to his room and he starts, he puts on his armor. First thing he does is put it on his armor and then he takes the mushroom hat and he shoves it into his armor. Um, and then he packs up all his stuff, um, his dress clothes, his, his, um, all the things he's going to need. Um, and then he's going to head back downstairs. While you're packing, I'm going to follow you up there. Okay. I'm going to slide a hand check. <laughs> Oof. Against her perception or... Mm -hmm. I'm assuming. Oh dear. Uh, I would notice, but I'm not saying anything. Okay. I'm gonna come in there with a purpose. Uh, and I'm gonna climb up on the bed. Huh? Muted. God damn it, still muted. All <laughs> there right. you go. Are you going to roll a perception check, perchance? 
No, my, my passive was a was a ten, but I wasn't actually like rolling because I'm not actively looking for him because I don't I'm not I don't know that he's hidden anything. So okay. I think I would just like walk in and just notice something that semi looked familiar, but not really think about it. Yeah. Yeah. That feels right. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am there for a purpose, and I'm focused on that purpose. Yep. Purpose. 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 <laughs> I go in and without a word and I climb up on the bed and I curl like cross my legs on the bed and I stare at the ground for a second I'm thinking really really hard in my room? okay yes okay I'm going to tell you a story now listen okay oh. when I was with my ogre family there was a couple of clans that were nearby. It was the the Brugas and the Brug clan. And one day, someone from the Brug clan ran into somebody from the Gruga clan and said something mean. And the Gruga clan person went back to their clan and told everybody else about this mean thing they said. And they got all mad. So the Gruga clan went over and attacked the Brug clan and then they said something mean to the Brood clan, and then they attacked the Brood clan, attacked the Grig clan again, and they kept going back and forth. But each time they would attack each other, they'd get more and more <coughs> mad at each other until there was no one left from either one of the clans because they were so mad at each other, they just kept attacking each other, and there was nobody left. So, all I'm saying is don't be a Brug or a Grug. You know, I think the clan was actually called the Grigas, not the Grugs. I don't, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Don't be an ogre. This from an ogre? Yes. I'm kind of feeling more like a dragon <laughs> than an ogre, though. Right. I think I'm I think I'm becoming more of a dragon than an ogre. I don't know what I am, but I'm not I'm better I'm a better ogre because of that story. So you be a better ogre too. Except don't be an ogre. But don't be an ogre. <laughs> <laughs> the moral of the story is don't be an ogre. Do you remember when we first met, dude? We were in a bar, and I ate a lot of food. And then we went on a mission together, right? Yes. And you were telling me all about the bug god. Oh, yeah, the bug face god. He just needed a friend. Just needed a friend. Uh-huh. Remember all the times I talked to you about the other entities mm -hmm. who would treat you better. Mm-hmm. Take me she. And they would make you a better person. Mm-hmm. And they tell you good things to do. Mm-hmm. I mean she hasn't talked to me since then, but still. <laughs> I'm sure she's around. Lean down. You're that for me. And I'm going to boop her nose. Boop their nose and go back to... <clears throat> back. I'm not a dragon. I'm a god. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. I'm not an ogre. I'm a... Ooh. Okay. I will make sure you don't be an ogre. <clears throat> yes that's the plan and then I'm going to hop down off the bed I'm going to go pack and then I'm going to lean out and whisper thanks for keeping my hat and I'm going to run out <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm going to go and gather up all my tarts from under the bed who saw that coming? I, I don't know it's like I don't know. 
Uh, ice enough? What are you doing? That's a really good question. Um, she's pretty much ready to go. Uh, she's going to find... Hmm. Stays in the room for a few a few minutes. Um, kind of, uh, there inside the room is this large opening, like where it, there shouldn't be because this is just a small room. Um, and she like walks through the door, and we can kind of see the outline of like sunlight. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, and to show them the mansion some other time. And the doorway disappears. And she walks walks out. Uh, <laughs> that makes me a sad dungeon master. <laughs> <laughs> Business, baby. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh, On the road, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, the mansions, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very different from Garen's. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Garen's was very utilitarian. You know, and and then you know stuff to keep his husband happy. Anyway, um, what about you? Um, what about uh, Aerith? <laughs> Aerith will probably be uh, just finishing up packing before Duke comes in. Um, there wasn't much uh, laid out, but uh, her Aerith's eyes fall across the cow print pajamas and kind of shakes her head and grabs those and puts them in the in her knapsack as well. Who knows when she gets to use them, but it did make her laugh, so <laughs> she's going to take those with her. <laughs> <laughs> They're really comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> now that is some art that I would love to commission. <laughs> Aerith in cow print pajamas. Mm -hmm. oh, lovely. Aerith. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Did you know that I am not an ogre? Yes. You're what? a. You're a. You look very similar to Professor Eisenhoff, don't you? That, no, 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 I'm not an ogre. I'm no, you're an uh, no, god, a uh, god, yes. Who told you that? Mahal, and Mahal never lies. No, no, he doesn't tend to. Oh, no, no. <laughs> she said that I am to him as Mishi is to me. Oh, that was the hardest sentence I've ever had to say. Oh. So I'm okay. a god. That makes that makes sense. Yes. So I am not an ogre. I am a god. Right. Yes. This could so, only be good for us. If Mishi gives me powers, that means I could give you powers. So if you ever need a god, I'm here to help. We'll keep that in mind. Okay. But you don't have to because, you know, mm -hmm. you obviously you get to choose. But if you choose me, I am here. I will be the god of pastries and bugs. But not like the bug-based god because I think he's actually, like, really cranky. I will be the happy bug-based god. Right. The nice one. <laughs> nice one. Your bugs are very good when you find them. Are you eating uh, my bugs? You've offered them to me. Okay, I thought you were eating the ones that are under the bed. They're not ready yet. <laughs> no, they're not. They have to eat I thought you weren't supposed to put more under there. <laughs> Those crickets were quite annoying. It's our secret. <sighs> it's not a secret. Ah. Ah. Are you ready to Oh, go? Fuzzy Bottom, have you met our new god? And I'm going to walk out. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. 
Do <laughs> drop Springfield. God. Springfield? Uh, of bugs and pastries. God. You're a god now? I am. I'm not an ogre. I'm a god. Um, the hell says so. Uh, so, uh, you know. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh, who, who... Unless you want to turn me into a dragon, then I could be a dragon. But for now, I'm a god. Who are you replacing? I'm going to be the happy bug based god instead of <laughs> one. Yeah, but you can't just like become a god like and just like join them. Like you have to like replace one of them. I'm not becoming one. I've always been one. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Who did you replace? I didn't, I didn't re I'm replacing I'm I'm the I'm the happy bug face god. I, I that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Well, you don't make any sense. Like, there's there's eight gods of good, eight okay. gods of evil, and eight gods of the balance. Okay. Well, I am... Which one did you replace? I am the ninth god of good. Oh, no. What? You're trying to undo the balance. No! No, my house said I was... I was... I was... Oh, my to god. To him, like... Mishi is to me. So I'm here to help. And it's going to end the world. No, I didn't mean it. I don't want to end the world. It will end Can the I be world. a dragon? Okay, I'll go back to being an ogre. Can I be an ogre instead of a god? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, I don't want to end the world. I'll be an ogre instead of a god. Okay, okay. Okay, that's good. Can I be good. a dragon, though? That's good. I mean, we'll get there. I'm sure. Um, Can I still be a dragon without ending the world? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay, I have to go tell my hell that I can't be his god. But, like, yeah, like... And then what is he gonna do? Um, I, I think he's okay. He's covered, um, by, uh, Kyrgyllis. Who is that? He's the ram god. He's the... It's not his a, new best friend, is he's it? He's a bison. It's know? not his second. I'm a second. Yeah, but, like, the bison... Is the guy who gives him his powers and stuff. You know, like, that one day when Mahel spent the whole day walking through the forest in pajamas and stuff? Ugh, I didn't until you reminded me. I tried to forget about that day. It was the most boring day of my life. Guess what? It's coming back up in a couple days, and, and <laughs> he's going to be doing it all over again. He does it Aww. once a week. He has to do that all the time? Yeah, once a week. That doesn't sound like a very fun god. I could be a much more fun god. Maybe I should replace that one. Um, you want to replace the son of Paladine and Mystical? You want to kill your words. current god's son? No, I don't want to kill him. I just want to take over. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's kind of, you know, you don't just like bump them out and then they just go about their merry way and stuff. That worked all the time on the ogres. Uh, these are gods. I mean, the one these that got not... bumped out usually ended up... That's a little different. Like, uh, when the sleeping. when the ogre gets bumped out, like, an entire continent doesn't explode. I don't want to... I don't want to explode a continent. What's a continent? Whatever it is, I don't want to explode it. Yeah, like a huge landmass. Okay, no, I don't want to explode that. Okay, I guess I'll just be an ogre, but I'll have to go tell Mahel that I can't be a god. Hmm. Maybe you should tell him for me. I don't want to break that news to him. It might hurt his feelings. I'll let him down. I'll let him down. It's okay. I'll tell him. I'll talk okay. to him. Give no him worries. a pastry to make it easier. I got you, do. Okay. Thank you. Because um, I've only got your back. <laughs> that tricks. <laughs> So um, coming back to from chaos to, to <laughs> sit down the chaos was fun. Like <laughs> oh, no. um I actually did have a thing that I wanted to do. Yeah. Um I um Mahela, you're in your room. So packing. There's a knock yep. there's a knock on your door. Come in. <clears throat> How goes the packing? I should be done shortly. Good. Um I wanted to ask you something, because I know we haven't exactly got off on the right foot. Um, but I want you to know 
um, that one. This is incredibly dangerous, which I'm sure you're quite fully aware of. But I want to know, what is all this for, for you personally? All of this? Mm. Yes. The night, the knighthood, the... All of the... it. Well, originally, I'm going to be completely honest with you, Professor. It was to get out of the mud and the dirt that me and my family lived in. Fair. To make sure that nobody would face the injustices that we did. I have to imagine that there were some sacrifices made along the way. There were. You were not alone in that. But how did we get from there to ancient green dragon? <clears throat> Apparently, this ancient green dragon kidnapped my brother. Well, that's true. This ancient green dragon has marked me. This ancient green dragon raised my brother, tortured my brother, and when my brother finally broke free, came back and took him back. So this is quite personal then. Very personal. But layered on top of a mission of justice and perhaps strange misplaced honor? To be honest, I don't even know anymore. The only thing I'm thinking of right now is getting my brother back. And sometimes that's enough. But I get the feeling like regardless, you're the type of person to do whatever it takes to protect those around you. I will do whatever it takes to protect my family, yes. Well, then I want you to know that we feel exactly the same way. Thank you, Professor. Of course. Oh, <sighs> Death by acid. Poison, have you, actually. Wonderful. Have you, have you, you're still wearing your ring, correct? Yeah. Good. Just because there are sacrifices doesn't mean we don't get to just forget. I just... <clears throat> Anyone in my family... Any pain that they take, I take as well. I miss that. <clears throat> Strangely enough, sometimes those sacrifices, that removal of pain, you begin to miss even that. Because it reminds you of how much you care. Professor? Yes, dear. Why are you here? Why are you contemplating death by acid? Well, more poison than acid, but yes. Right now? Seems to make sense to remove, for lack of a better term, a player from the board.
whether that's permanently or, or otherwise. Since we're we're leaning towards one way. And there is inherent good in that. But after that, to be honest with you, I don't really know. Well, I appreciate you being here. Strangely enough, I'm quite glad that I came. <clears throat> but let's not spark any more dragons in the near future. <laughs> Unless it's due. <clears throat> that's a that's an inevitability. Inevitability. <laughs> yes, you're you're right. You're right. Let me ask you and like she kinda of goes to like walk like away and comes back. Do you think I made a mistake? The giant, tapes, the giant tape stuff. No. Oh, no. I am looking forward to that day. <clears throat> well, it seems <clears throat> it's, uh, it's coming soon. At least you'll be on the other side of it this time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully riding on top of the giant ape. <laughs> Perhaps. That is a visual. <laughs> that is a visual. <laughs> what? And not on top of the dragon? Like, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. But the, the giant is on top of the dragon. Sorry. Yeah, the giant <laughs> is on, riding on the dragon, yes. and I'm riding on the giant age. Okay. Oh my god. Yes. And then is Professor Isenoff riding on the hell? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, it's just like absolutely a, not. Because you know, <laughs> <laughs> okay. if it was do, you know, do would be writing. You know. Oh yeah. Oh, no yeah. doubt. No oh, doubt. Oh yeah. So you know, with that bombshell, we're gonna take our break. Yeah. <clears throat> and when we return, we will be in Palantis. Whoa. Abra I've been there. You mean we're leaving? <laughs> so, yeah, now all of my campaigns are converging. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Double Isonaut damage. <laughs> do you mean? I was going to say, how many characters do I get to play? <laughs> <laughs> that I could potentially meet Benrock? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Classic That'll dungeon. be a great meeting. The classic oh, dungeon master. No. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, who knows? We'll see. But yeah, we're gonna be right back. We're gonna take a little break. A little ten fifteen. Um, I feel a little peckish. Um, so she'll get some uh, hydration and potty breaks and stuff, and do your thing, and come on back. Because uh, we've got more Draganigans um, after uh, these messages, as I'm going to like run out. Local sponsor. Um, ah, these messages. After I, <laughs> uh, you know, open my Twitch page. Um, <laughs> <laughs> after these messages. Anyway, we'll, we'll be, be right back. BRB. BRB. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs>
as you do. <laughs> and we're back. Oh, Yay! Yay! You know. Yay! And here we go. Back with more Dragons of Rebirth. And as we return, you've all collected down in the basement of the kettle. And you've stepped into this teleportation circle. Um, and in a flash, you all appear in a jungle. I I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Uh, no, it's a different teleportation circle. Um, much different. Hmm. This teleportation circle has attitude because Palantians are full of themselves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah confirm. So, but we are now. Ah, uh, we are now. Now I can show the players uh, what I've been working on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You're so cute, Maddie. Oh, oh no. My God. I, I built a manor. I built a big-ass manor. It has, it has five stories. And, um, yeah. I worked on this for too long. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited. Let's go. All right. So So excited. You appear in the basement of this manor. There we go. Oh wow. So you know. Um, oh, this is gorgeous. So of course I you know, like I bought a thing, you know. And I just filled it out and stuff. Uh, I bought lots of things. I've I've bought lots of things from Roll Twenty for a while now. You know, um, this is so nice. And now I'm going to use it. So <laughs> here we are. Um, in the basement of Copperstone Manor. Um. I thought I heard cats. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Oh, Amazing. right. Um, yeah. We have cats in this man. <laughs> I, I, I was waiting. I was waiting for it. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah, we do. There's a... Yeah. There's a, there's a group. Uh-huh. There's a pepper. <laughs> and somewhere around here, there's a, a, a trouble. And a Vexalia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yep, yep, yep. We have a lot of cats. We like cats. Cats are fun. Anyway, let's head on upstairs. I'll show you all to your rooms. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to skip over to. We're just going to go right upstairs. Um, because it's the only floor I have furnished. <laughs> and I didn't cover anything up. I was just like, I'm not gonna do it. Um, Ooh, it's pretty. I don't care. Um, so you yeah. did a thing. Like, yeah. You made the thing. I made the things. It's you made like the thing. it's super cute. And something like, you know, furnishing this shit. I swear to God, it takes the patience of Job. Um, and then going through and making sure that everything is put to the map layer for Captain Chaos here. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you referring to? I don't know. It wouldn't um, be me. Can't be me. Nice enough, it's clearly. Definitely. Obviously. We all know that Aerith is the Chaos here. <laughs> I am full of it. <laughs> Right. It's in the horns. <laughs> so, if uh, actually they are. <laughs> um, wait a minute. How did 
Why did? Oh. Oh, I didn't change. Oh, that's funny. I oh, changed. Oh, these cats reminded me that I need to. I need Funky. Oh, where's your, where where is your cat? Um, I don't know if I have to re-summon him or if I have to just snap my fingers and he appears. I don't remember where we left off after my little adventure with those other people in the other world. Okay. I guess I could just try to snap my fingers and make him appear. <clears throat> I don't know if I know how to snap my fingers. Okay. Maybe if I just go... <sighs> well, in the meantime, would you like to hold Pepper? <gasps> okay. Because, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, this bitch's ears are hot. I knew we were talking about her. She Aww. jumped up in my lap. I was like, hi, Daddy. Yeah, has left. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Do I need to? Whoa. Do I need to resummon Fungi after the? Or has he just been yeah, waiting man. to be snapped out of the ether? Okay. Yeah, it's um. It's been it's, a minute. It's gonna be a resummoning thing, yeah. and we'll see okay. what happens when that happens. That's fine. No, that's fine. Oh, I've got. I've familiar. got. An this is gonna be fun. An hour. I thought for sure Mishi Dumbo said the she crab could coming soon. They could keep Fungi. Yeah. Oh, I've uh, got Fungi, but last time I summoned Fungi, Fungi looked different. Yeah, mm. just a little bit. Rilo, uh, a little bit. you know. A little bit. Oh, Rilo knows okay. the feeling. Rilo might have taught her something. Something, I don't know. Anyway, so we'll see. But, um, so, yes. Um, so first off, um, uh, Isnoff, um, Aerith, I yes, hope yeah. you don't mind sharing a room. Um, Certainly not. Uh, this space here will be yours. And, um, <clears throat> and then down here, uh, do yeah. you are Mahel's second. Yes. And, oh, wait, no, I'm not your god anymore. I'm so, <laughs> um, again. you're going to need to be close by. Okay, I will sleep under his bed. No. Oh, why? Uh, this room <laughs> is your room. Uh, ah, I'm trying to look at the map, and it disappeared. Oh, there it goes. Okay, ping again. <laughs> I'll ping, not ping. Ping it. <laughs> I said ping. <laughs> I can't tell. Um, wait. Oh, I can't move it. Oh, because I made it too. Okay, hold on. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, the one down here, the little one. It's cute. Oh, okay. All right, got it. Every time I zoom in, oh. it um, it disappears on me, so. Oops. Um, sorry. That was my... Oh. Your alarm? Um, yeah, uh, because... Um, because business, um, trying to win some eBay things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so this is your room. Um, oh. And, um, I hope you're okay with your own room. Um, by myself? Technically, but you'll Alone? have, you'll have Fungi and many cats. Can I leave the door open? Of course. Okay. <clears throat> and, um, my help. Um, this is your space. Mm. Thank you, my lord. Um, and, um, and then he walks over to. Uh, this door here. And he puts his hand up on the door. And he starts to blow this chilly air.
and he freezes the door shut. This is Callus's room. I'm very sad now. <laughs> but if you're talking to the air, you're not coming oh. through. How how is he supposed to get in if the door is frozen shut? I you're gonna unfreeze it when he gets back, right? Yes. Okay. Just checking. Um and Fuzz. You've got your room downstairs? No. Okay. Fuzz stays here a lot. Anyway. Can I do something really quickly? Because yeah. the freezing of the room is a bit of a interesting yellow flag for the professor. I'd like to cast Detect Thoughts. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So his surface thoughts are very, um, very business, you know, um, very, we have a schedule. Uh, I need to take care of my guests. Um, I and then it gets very sullen very crestfallen and uh, what kind of save if you want to dig further I actually don't want to dig further okay um but sort of where I hit the the sort of the, the sullen and then sort of the barrier if, to entry, if you will, mm -hmm. is this some sort of symbolism? Or are you just trying to keep us out of Kalos's room? Yeah, Kalos will be the first one to enter this space. You don't trust us? It's not about that. Well, considering we're going to our do like to a likely doom scenario. Oh shit. I think Oh no. Ah. Oh. Professor, I I think it's just me. They just found out that they were related to Copper Pot. And this might be a gift to them. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, please, uh, Professor. Please don't make this a statement on trust or anything like that. Mahel and Kalos. They're they're my blood. <clears throat> Kalos made a made an oath, a bond. And I set up this space for him. I want him to see it first. He 
You have children? <sighs> yes. So then you know. Me. <laughs> Sometimes the things we do for our young don't always make sense. They don't always follow social bounds. We do them anyway. That is quite true. Even when you know that they are never going to understand. And you could see, you could see him eyeing towards um, Mahal with that statement. But not enough for Mahel to notice. Yeah, Mahel is like gathering his stuff and walking. He isn't paying attention to this conversation. All right. Look, I recognize that a lot of this is not really information that I need to know, but I just find it strange for, to be teleported to this area and then suddenly one thing if doors were locked certainly that's fine it's a bit much to freeze over one that's you've all. uh you've been around a few dragons recently right more than a few dear. yeah more than a few we all have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> I'm taking many notes. But that is why I ask questions. Yeah. This is why you're a teacher. My next book is going to be so fascinating. We'll leave Duchess out of it, though. <laughs> your uh that's just where your your first, thankfully not your Here. first books were very good thank you donnie um you know she got them all all for us for uh yule gifts wonderful wonderful yeah. Were they white elephant gag gifts? <laughs> um, what's a white elephant gag? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since accomplished author author Eisenhoff has been around. So good to know that they that they still have some influence hmm. for use, I suppose. Anyway, um, there will be... My uh, apology. I just wanted to be honest with what I felt. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. All you have to do is ask, though. I'm not one for secrets. We will have uh, uh, informal dinner this evening. Um, tomorrow we'll begin a lot of the human bullshit, as I like to call it. Um, Thirdian is a lot better with that crap, and so he'll come up and go over uh, tomorrow's schedule uh with you all and um yeah i'll be here if you need anything um and then i'll again uh if i don't catch you at 
dinner. I'll definitely see you at festivities tomorrow. And he's going to go to his room. All right. <laughs> and, um, Mr. Is it Copperpot. After... Oh. Yep. Um, why are frogs rarely angry? Is that a thing? Are they really angry? I don't know. I haven't talked to many frogs. Why are, why are they... It's because they eat whatever bugs them. Huh. 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 I failed my saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty good too. Is that why you eat bugs? Oh, I didn't think about that. <clears throat> no, I just thought you could hear a joke. <laughs> you seem sad, so. I was going to give you a joke. I am sad. I know. But jokes help. Thank you. I appreciate it. But that door is going to make a mess when it melts, though, just so you know. It's not going to melt. Oh, okay. All right. Well, as long as he can get in when he gets here, so. It's okay. He will. I could kick it down if we need to. I'm right. very good at kicking things. The boots. Yes. Mm -hmm. Quite boots. the reveal. Please don't kick any more doors down. Okay. In here or ever again? No, no, in here, here in the man. Oh, okay. All right. Well, no, I wasn't planning on kicking any doors in here. Anywhere else, go for it. Go nuts. Okay. You know? All right. Oh like, no, why did you just okay. say that? I just, I just, okay. No, I Teleport yourself it. all across the planar sphere. You know, have fun. I, I will pretty... only kick down his door if you need help opening it. Okay. I will let you know. Okay. It was for the earth. Oh, I see. This is where I've been going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And she walks into her room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Aerith, Aerith. <laughs> yes, dear. What kind of frog has horns? Indulge me. A bullfrog. See, I <laughs> thought it? that might be it. That was you a have good horns? one. horns? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go get food because I didn't eat earlier and I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, wait, I have tarts in my pocket. No, I, I want to just save them for later. About to, oh, I'm gonna save them for later. I think Fuzzy Bottom packed us some lunches. Yes, I did. Um, <gasps> yeah, I got lunches. And you stuff. didn't pack the stew, did you? Oh God, no. <laughs> you don't have to be that rude about it. <laughs> I know it was bad, but gosh. I mean, it was gross. Like what? Yeah, uh, but it wasn't like bug it, face. God, gross. Like. Um, I mean, <laughs> hey. I mean, I don't know, maybe not, but um, I could always make it grosser. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, so do you guys want to go downstairs to eat or, um, like Mahel got like the, the pimp suite and. He's got like a patio out there and stuff. I don't know. Why are you Let's out there? go eat out there. Oh, I don't want to barge into his room. You know, like that would be rude. Yeah. You know. I could kick the door down. Wait, no, I'm not supposed to kick down doors in here. Yeah. I could. We can go downstairs. It's fine. You know. On the door. That's a valid option. Mahal yeah. comes but running awesome. out of his room and go, do, do. Ah! What? You ah. gotta see this room. It's what huge. Happened? Oh, I thought. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, cool. So you saw <gasps> the room, huh? It's pretty dope, right? <laughs> I got my own fireplace, my own couch, my own patio. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're gonna eat in here. Yeah. Um, I'm bringing the lunches. 
Okay. Uh, ladies, do you want to join us? I'll be right there. Sure. Okay. Eric's going to um, put the stuff in the wardrobe and take out the pajamas and place them on, on her bed. And it, as she goes towards that, she's going to catch herself in the in the mirror and just kind of stop and and look at her horns again and touch them. Have they changed at all? Um, not in the last day. She's going to mm. wrap her hair. She normally has a braid, mm -hmm. but she's going to wrap her hair around her horns and just kind of like buns, just to kind of hide the jaggedness that's happening in the base. And then she'll walk out and join the rest. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Hold on. As you walk out, you see Mahel standing there talking to Do, saying, See, Do, so you just open the, your window and you got a secret entrance into this <gasps> patio. I could just, I could just use this as a door. You can. Oh, this is real. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever been in a room this big. Where are you going to sleep though? There's only chairs and tables out here and you might get wet. This isn't my room. Oh. Where, where, I thought this was your room. You said your room was huge. Follow I think me. that's huge. Okay. Eros <laughs> going to kind of step to the yeah. side a little bit as you guys run back. Oh, this is, this is nice. This is this a big is room. This is my sitting room. Wait, you have more than one room? Yeah, come here, come here, run. What? <laughs> See, that's like a like an open what? banister this. kind of thing, you know. There is oh, more. Wow. And I'm gonna immediately go to the bed and look under it. Yeah, that's but there's so nice. much room. Oh, I could fit so many. <laughs> I could fit so many pastries under here. <laughs> Aerith is just thinking, I'm glad it's not my room this time. Okay. <laughs> I'm hungry. Let's go eat. And I'm going to nibble and then I'm I'm going to bring Fungi back because all these cats make me miss Fungi. Even though Fungi's not really a cat anymore. Fungi got weird. Mahal, did you see Fungi? Yeah, I don't believe I've seen What happened to Fungi? Fungi changed. The friends that I met in the other world made him different. He's not a cat anymore. Well, I, I don't think see. it's a cat. Let me see, Let me see him. Well, you're gonna have to wait like a while, so I'm gonna eat and do that. Well, while you guys eat and do that. Yeah. Eat and do what? That takes like an hour to cast. Yeah, I'm sitting on top in the middle of the table, <laughs> like a centerpiece, <laughs> with with the the brazier, the little the little brass bowl with my legs crossed, a little brass bowl in my lap. And I'm like nibbling on whatever he, food he brought, and I'm focusing on the spell. <laughs> I need you to roll a concentration check. And I know, right? To distract you, <laughs> like a little, like a little gnome centerpiece. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's not going to be very hard to distract you. I just want to know now. Oh, it's very hard. Dude is very focused on this. Hey, they're, they are very to excited it. to bring Fungi back. <laughs> what? Are you trying no, to figure out what to roll to go against constitution? <laughs> I was rolling. I was rolling a, con a constitution or concentration was, check to see I was if I could. Trying to distract do for yeah, a spell. To see you if I could need, need a performance oh. check. Wow. But uh, but I rolled a fifteen. So do is very focused on getting Fungi back. Definitely. Right now. That's pretty and good. That's because Dew's focused on the spell and eating and trying to do those two things at once. And there's nothing else in the world right now. Oh. Yeah. That's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I did win one. That's good. You won something? Yes. Um, and, uh, God, I'm going to make like three times what I paid for. Uh -oh. So, I was wondering if I could practice something with all of you. Um, oh, that's not Gary at all. No, it's not. I promise. Okay. <laughs> uh, and, I'm very uh, excited. She'll uh, take out um, 
her component pouch and take out these two pieces of these like speckled like eggshells and um i'm gonna cast uh telepathic bond oh and um this is going to be so fun i'm so excited um oh, no. and uh that was jacob by the way <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah 4j maddie i don't week. think the captions are working oh gosh darn it um something happens when i cover the thing sometimes and it's... when you minimize it i know i know it's that not when i minimize it but it's like sometimes if i put like a um, a window over it, like yeah. and it yeah. covers it all the way. Like yeah. it'll just stop. Browser right source, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a pain in the butt sometimes. So yeah, I got him. I had the, yeah. Anyway, okay, now it's working again. Okay, good. Yay! So um, who else is in this room besides uh, us? Oh yeah, so I, think um, all of us are I was the trying podium. to get. Uh, here we go. Oh, here's um, here's the fuzz, and bring fuzz over here. And then we got Professor Ithanov over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna bring her over here. And can you control her, Jake? Uh, I can. Yes, okay, thank cool. you very much. Awesome. All right. So, um, so we're going to try something because I feel like if things get a little strange with our uh, journey to uh, uh, visit uh, Amaya. Perhaps it would be dangerous for us to. <laughs> the, 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 my brain just exploded. Thank you for that. <laughs> Pulled out of character. <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs> Revenge next week. So, um, it can be dangerous to. Now you ruined his voice level. <laughs> I'm barely here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Um, no, I think it was okay. I think it just quieted down a little bit. Oh, okay. No, my no Zoom Zoom did the thing. Oh, damn it! Okay. See, see there, now, sorry. there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zoom did the thing. Uh, just really well timed. Anyway, so anyway, as I was saying before, I was Solanari was talking to me. Anyway, mm. so <laughs> it's possible that it would be very dangerous for us to have to speak to each other um audibly so and then you begin to hear in your minds so we can do it this way oh. so all you need to do is think to yourself and we can all communicate with each other oh, oh god lovely. oh natural <laughs> one <laughs> Record scratch on that, oh, on that find, find familiar spell. Perfect. Just like, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> that is, she? is that you? I'm going to, I'm going to be like, it is Bugface God. Oh no wait. That. I have new friends. You didn't want to be my friend. You lost out. It, it's it's not bug face god it's just my hell it's okay do why are all of you, you talking with that over your mouths are you not listening what oh right you were casting the spell yeah. yes Dave. we i cast the spell as well i'm the only one talking out loud right now <laughs> <laughs> i should have i should have assumed why uh, we uh well. we did this one so far I thought it was through YouTube. <laughs> it was. But it's okay. been a while. Um, it, yeah, yeah, we did. We, we, we have done this once before. Uh -huh. well, I, I but now it's everybody. A, right. And also, I thought we could use a bit of practice. Oh, like a drill run. So, right. Professor, what are the limitations yes. of this uh, spell? Or, I guess, what can we do with this? Well, as long as we're within at least 30 feet of each other. Oh, no. I think we have to be on the same plane or something like that. Because you... uh, um, you're sure it's within range, range slash area 30 feet. To initiate it, but once you have the bond, right? You're. Oh. Through the bond, whether or not the communication is possible over any distance. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So she says that in her in her, in her her way. Um, so, yes, as long as we are, well, at least. Uh, 
on the same plane of existence. We can communicate in this way for up to an hour. Uh, Mima, could you get out of my brain head area for like an hour? I was about, I was like three minutes into getting Fungi back and then uh, it got really scary and then it kind of made sense, but it still doesn't really make sense. Oh, but... oh sorry, dear. I... Oh, ouch. No, it's ruining your concentration. Do you... No, Do it's fine. I just, you're, I'm still talking out loud, by the way. You're just, you're, everyone's in my head now, and it's really weird. <laughs> you hear but... it in her head, in their head. Uh, I know all that you think. I look at Professor Eisenhoff, and I ask, can we do direct, or does everybody hear us all the time? Can we do direct talk to just an individual? I think yeah. it's uh, individual. Yeah, you can um, do that. Yeah, so yeah. It's enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, can be, it can be either, you know? Like it can be you can, either. You yeah. can talk to everybody at the same time, right. just like you're in the right. same room, or you can just right. talk to an individual kind of thing. Right. Like, yeah. So. Can we dampen this chatter? I asked eyes <laughs> off. The group by, chat. The group themselves. chat. <laughs> by themselves. Can we <laughs> dampen the chatter? Yes. 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 Yeah, we can. And, <laughs> like right now, for example, the only one that can hear uh, me right now is you, Aaron. And then I'll look to to do, and I'll actually say out loud. See, now I'm out of your your head. Oh. Okay. Whew. There was somebody else in there, and it was getting kind of scary. <laughs> uh. It was Mahal. Who? <laughs> my hell I just feel like he's got like a like a sign that just goes it was my hell <laughs> were you being scary in my head I would never I totally would think you're lying he is lying <laughs> why are you lying to me my hell why are you fucking lying <laughs> <laughs> My, that beats my passive. I, I, <laughs> yeah, passive insight says that I know you fucking my lying. passive insight. My passive insight is sixteen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mine's, mine's a sixteen as well. Mine's a fifteen as well. Passive not insight. Not very, not Why very intelligent. Not? Very insightful. <laughs> well, well okay. we, you know, we all know Mahel very well, so we all know that he's. Yeah. Bullshit. I'm <laughs> going to get my not a cat back. I'll be right with you all. Thank you. <laughs> I go back to my little <laughs> brazier on the uh, my little brass bowl Question, in the middle of the Maddie, table. <laughs> does this round table spin? <laughs> <laughs> it's a square. Um. Oh, I thought it was a round table. It's a square, oh yeah. Do are you are you projecting your thoughts I like totally you did last would time? Have, you know, I uh, I'm pretty sure that that Professor Eisenhoff cut off <laughs> my connection. I think. N no, it's not. It's, oh no, no we're no, still no. connected. Uh, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, so I can um, totally uh, but, still hear everything in my head. But <laughs> I, considering the experiment, um, she dismisses the spell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm good now. So now you just see Mahal going like this towards Do. <laughs> Do we not feel the sensation go away? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god, who are you talking about? It's Do. That is hilarious. No, Mahal, I would not have I don't know if that's part of the spell if we... Yeah, no, he's just messing no, with, with that, Dew now. He's just yeah. trying to distract Dew. And Dew, oh like, my goodness. Dew, like, does this really awkward, like, shuffle scoot to face away from hell. <laughs> so, in the future, uh, Professor, I, I think yes, yes. maybe some some warning and uh, maybe explanation uh, is in order before we do this again. You know, Professor, <laughs> that's something I've noticed about you. <laughs> You What's tend that? to just cast a spell without explaining, usually, before <laughs> it, it hits. It's a like, very I'm okay with that, but hits do. It, oh, um, well, what do? Yeah, I get that. But, <laughs> I mean, it is a very formal point, a point, a, a part of education and stuff like that, you know, like, but 
But do yeah, do you kind of need to do things a little you differently? Just, you just <laughs> plop them into a a, a a monkey, and you just plopped into their head. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> just might want to prepare. Them. I that's only love two that, by the way. Like, um, <laughs> I love that. Hey, got a good alignment. Yep. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Continue to cast spontaneous spells. <laughs> it's hilarious for me. <laughs> I, I, I could, I could tell them, but then the reactions that I give would be slightly on the miss side, and you know, mm. it's been a lot of sitting on our hands for a little while, and mm. even my old lady self needed to uh, have a bit of entertainment. Oh, as a training as this is, I'm just. But when it counts, we we might want some prep first. <laughs> well, that was the whole point. Yeah, though, that's exactly the point. Is in the time in times of need, it will be no scary. Yeah, <laughs> it's There's only true. Action. True. Yeah. Very this good part. point. This is. Can you tell me more about that spell? And I'm going to ask her about the components and stuff because this is a new thing to her and yes, this is yeah. and she just like like <laughs> like you see her eyes out. Like, <laughs> they're nerding out okay yeah. cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, i'm gonna finish my lunch and then like uh, go downstairs and stuff and then if Ooh. you actually switch with your right hand oh then... my god <laughs> swish and flick exactly what cool. nerds <laughs> Be careful because sometimes if you, you put the eggshells together too quickly, then the spell doesn't work. And... <laughs> this is fascinating. I mean, this is you know, this is a professor of her order, and I'm very like she's on autopilot. enthralled. I'm enthralled. And your nose is super brown right now. I'm yeah. enthralled. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care. I'm happy. Is this, this going to so be on the test? <laughs> <laughs> Are you yes. kidding? I get one-on-one tutelage with this? Uh, this is amazing. Like, I, I, oh, I'm I, right trying there. to soak all of this in. I mean, and it's kind of different, though, because I'm a sorcerer, but still, like, it's fascinating, so. I get it. I get it. It's okay. You won't What's get enough there? info to rip up, whip up a scroll of it or something. I mean, <laughs> we're all nerds here, so you know. Yeah, we get it. Remember that channel? Um, it's good channel. Um, so anyway, um, so we've got, um, so Mahel, are you just gonna be like uh, trying to distract you this whole time? <laughs> no, um, <laughs> no, that was just he was. He was just doing that in the beginning. And okay. then after seeing how Dew got upset for losing their spell and lectured him about, <laughs> about their cat, he's going to um, he's gonna sit down and he's going to eat. Um, and he seems distracted right now. Like, like distracted in a good way. Distracted from the thought that his, his brother's maybe brother maybe in mortal peril right now mm-hmm. he, he doesn't seem to be thinking about it he seems to be just hanging out with the group right now um That's good. probably the excitement of being in Palanthus and and where this is heading mm-hmm. um this is the fulfillment of his dream so <clears throat> indeed <clears throat> so As you sit down, eat your lunch, and the professor goes on and on about, you know, a telepathic bond to a very attentive Aerith. And the fuzz is like chilling there and just kind of listening to everything and kind of like um, very slyly, like just. Um, putting this uh, little area of, of peace and calm around Dew. <clears throat> Dew, you finished casting your spell. Yay! 
And with that completion of the spell, the brazier just goes out and this big puff of smoke comes up. And normally when this happens, you have Fungi, your little cat, crawls out of that smoke. And what you see is where we're going to end this episode. Oh. <laughs> <Rude>. So mean! <laughs> Rude! <laughs> I wanted to see. Oh my gosh. I want to see if Aerith is going to be startled by it or not. <laughs> uh, you know. Um, so we'll find out in two weeks. <laughs> what happened? Because what happened was... Um, so rude. I, uh, <laughs> uh, I am that guy. Yeah. Um, I am that guy with, you know, um, kidney stone and stuff like that. So What, what you Oof. didn't hear Oof. is I went in the other room and I, I just went, Ah, fuck! <laughs> 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 yeah, you did. I was wondering if you heard it or not. Or I did. did. <laughs> yeah, you did. I did. <laughs> oh man, that I'm was like, good. Let's get another beer real quick, and then ah. <laughs> yep. 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 So yeah, we'll we'll see what happens in two weeks, and we will see where the um, the Knights of Slamnia. Um, where they intend for uh, our Current Knight of the Sword to go to become a Knight of the Rose. Maybe. Or we'll just dick around, you know, <laughs> um, in Copperstone Manor for like a few sessions. We'll see. I'm sure there will be more floor to explore at that point. Yeah. I don't think about the whiskey business just for teleporting. <laughs> we have to see Fuzzy Bottom's room. We have to see the kitchen. We have to <laughs> go and explore the gardens. Oh, let, yeah. let Fungi 2.0, whatever that would be, to uh, explore. Mm. <laughs> a mansion to explore, I guess. Okay. Yeah. One and one a option. magnificent. Will they see the magnificent mansion that one now uh, that Isanoff has? Maybe Will one. they? Okay. You know, you know, I don't know. Lots of teases, everybody. They're going to do a lot of weird stuff. It's going to be fun. It'll be back here in two weeks. Yeah. And in one week, it'll be Duval and Dragons, baby. Yeah, baby. Where the tables are turned. And Jake, Jake gets to, you know, torture me. Um, <laughs> and my also, little bean. Typically with dragons. <laughs> and, you know, with dragons. Um, and stuff. So, you know, we got that going. Don't Jen crawl. Don't Jen crawl. Um, so Ooh, today's sequels. today's Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow we don't have a we don't currently have a show right now, but soon there will be a Monster Hunter game of Monster Hearts. Is oh, that, Monster no. of the Week. Monster or, of the Week. Yeah. I yeah. knew that. <laughs> Monster something. I don't oh, know. Like, that? Monster uh, Hearts is very different. I know, I know, I know. I don't know. It had monster in the name. I, I, I don't got think I could run a romance game. I'm I don't sorry. think. Yeah, I, I don't know. It'd be a really weird. It would be the <laughs> darkest romance game, I'm sure. You know, where you have to murder someone to tell them that you love them. I don't know. Um, but anyway. Um, so no game tomorrow, but we do have uh, Star Trek on Tuesday. And then we have the return of the agency on Wednesday. And then nothing currently on Thursday. So we'll be back with those two. And then back on Sunday for Duval and Dragons, where Maddie starts this whole week of, you know, like so many games like in a row that he doesn't know what to do with himself. Um, and usually... Usually, that's my happy week. You know? Yay! Um, this week, where I don't have as many games, um, sometimes the depression. 
kicks in. Mm-mm. So I need to fill that. I'm filling the calendar though, because <laughs> soon I'll have something on the Monday, and then um, we're still getting together on Wednesdays, even if we're not, you know, playing our game on, on stream. We're getting together, and I have this idea to do like a little uh, short series, what you know, thing. Um, so um, I'm gonna make them all be uh, uh, wizards and sorcerers. It's gonna be fun. You mean again? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Is it got Lost Tower Two? A lush boogaloo. How did you know? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> ah, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Um, no. But I just it's, found the tower twice. <laughs> it's going to be. It's Actually, going to be three. a little like. Um, <laughs> it's going to be like another like because I'm doing this like little dry run on uh, for Helping Hard Hands for Strixhaven. Um, because it's kind of related to a thing I'm working on, project thingy, hush, hush, say no more. Um, but I also have this, um, concept that's like directly, um, in Dragonlance Crin and stuff. And, um, where it's like, um, yeah, it's, it's basically like, um, wizard school, um, red, white and black robe style, you know, so... It'll be fun. Um, and I, I just, um, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on here. And speaking of Helping Hard Hands, Friday is our next Helping Hard Hands where we get together for a day. We play some games. We do some chat. We raise some ducats. And we surprise somebody in the community who needs some help or whatever um with you know a shower of cash in their kofis um at the end of the night and usually i'm the only one that knows yay um and what's especially fun about this helping hard hands is that it's my birthday eve so um i get to play four games of dungeons and dragons and oh my god i'm so happy because i love dungeons and dragons Love it. Um, I'm running a strict saving game, and then Jake's running a game, and then Dana's running a game, and then uh, Ryan's running a game, and nerfing me again, and. <laughs> I there was a chat before that. He's so upset. And then, well, yeah, no, I said I said Jake's running a game, and then yeah, and, and then, then the chat. Oh yeah, and then. Oh, oh, and not just any chat. No, no. This is the So Duval Town Hall, y'all. Damn, Skippy. Bam. It is. Biggity bam. So, Duval King Jacob is hosting our chat show um, for the 11th, and I could take a break. Yeah, Hmm. and I will tell you that I was like, I know what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about uh, collaborative storytelling and all the memories that we created with our friends at TTRPGs and about two minutes after that everyone was like I can't wait to talk about butts so it's probably just going to be talking about butts <laughs> it's, it's going to be great <laughs> ah, that's okay you know um, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's a learned thing you know process and stuff of like how to like you know maneuver discussions and stuff with people you'll get there man i oh, have all the I'm faith in the world in you and thanks buddy you're amazing also, i'm not concerned at all <laughs> i know you're not and i'm not yeah. either and none of the people on that panel are concerned either they're all there to talk about butts and have fun there you go and raise some money and maybe make eat somebody eat beans or like hot sauce or whatever you know for money um, I don't know. I think I have to come up with something. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Um, and hopefully, hopefully I'm not, um, dealing with a kidney stone on Friday. That'd be nice. That'd be, nice. That'd be a lovely birthday present. Really? Um, like pass already, please. Oy. Um, and then that means Saturday is my birthday and I'm turning 45 and oof, 45, man. <clears throat> did it. I felt old. Um, 
and then uh oh and i get to run D D on my birthday yeah my original campaign shadows over palanthus i get to run it yeah i'm so excited oh yeah um so i have i have finagled my way into playing like D D as a player on my birthday for like the last couple years at least at least the last two years um but this year i get to run D, &D. so i'm very excited because yay um because i love the dungeon master because i mean look at these assholes they're mm -hmm. so great mm -hmm. like who wouldn't want to run these folks oh my god so he just close. likes trying to kill us <clears throat> You do the you. same to me. You know? <laughs> we do it to each other because we love each other. We kill yeah. each other because we love each other. It's <laughs> how we show affection. Right? <laughs> it's our love language. Y'all are ogres. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are. <laughs> all, all of us are definitely ogres. <laughs> we are ogres. <laughs> so um so yeah so why don't we um ryan why don't you go ahead and kick us off with uh what you're up to and all that stuff and i'll let you guys pass it along i'll be right back okay, okay so hi everybody i'm ryan at bay like marauding on twitch and twitter you can find me on this channel nearly every day uh every other sunday playing on this amazing game where i play everybody's most hated knight of the sword soon to be everybody's most hated knight of the rose mahal of the silver light um, every other Monday, you can find me um, running Doctor Where the Fuck, where a bunch of people do craziness and and time travel inside their own personalized moving um, marvelous mansion. It's absolutely fun, bonkers, and I love every second of it. Um, not starting tomorrow. But two weeks from tomorrow is our tentative plan right now. We will be starting um, Monster of the Week, where I get to run. <laughs> okay, you got <laughs> Stephanie. You got Argon Kitten Cake. You got um, Elsa. Oh, no, Maggie! Oh. Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, we're, we're almost done. It's fine. Though. I give up. <laughs> we see behind the curtain. Uh, somebody clipped that. That was incredible. <laughs> You've got Mint Jams. you got Star. you got Rain all playing this amazing game. And we made our characters. Most of us did. Today, it's going to be so much fun. Um, we already have the title of the first episode. It's great. It's great. Um, and then every other, or every Tuesday, you can find me here either playing or running uh, Star Trek or playing in Ravenloft. And then every other Thursday, you can find me here playing in Season of Six. I love that I'm playing uh, in Season Six at Call of Cthulhu, uh, where apparently everybody loves my character, who's basically Al Bundy. Um, oh, my oh, God. <laughs> he is a 40-something-year-old... Um, uh, community college gym teacher who um, who uh, barely has enough education to have a high school diploma and um, is like the hero of the town in high school football. So uh, yeah, he's 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 been a hit. So <laughs> I love that. Next. Hi, I'm Audrey, also known as Donnie Rain on Twitch. I, you can find me happily here every other Sunday playing this amazing game with all these amazing people. This has been so much fun. Thank you again, Maddie, for putting this on for us. <laughs> I cannot wait till next uh, next time. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, Jacob. Yeah, sure. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, so my name is Jacob Plick, Duo King Jacob, all on the internets. Uh, and uh, yeah, always excited to be here every Sunday uh, as Maddie Mission, uh, Duval Dragons, next Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Twitch.tv slash So Maddie Games. Uh, we got some dungeons and some dragons, quite literally, <laughs> both of them, uh, in the middle of the uh, the uh, Suryoki Desert. It's going to be a good time. Um, 
maybe there's more dragons, but there's definitely one right next to them, right, literally right now. So, uh, it's gonna be a good time. Uh, but also, um, between now and then, there's a bunch of stuff happening. Uh, so, uh, Tuesday, uh, the F5 via Redwall story, the, the uh, Redwall D&D campaign that I created over on twist.tv slash the amphitheater episode 7 of 16 uh, so we're about to get to our halfway point so as you can probably imagine shit's about to get real whack uh, and uh, it's going to be a really really good time so you should come check that out uh, that's at 8pm eastern time and then uh, Wednesday uh, we will uh, have Duval's Gaming Journey we'll continue our journey through Chrono Trigger the greatest game of all time and if you disagree I will fight you oh um, my god <laughs> no my husband will totally agree <laughs> good well, then we're best friends let him know um and uh so yes that's at also at 8 p.m um and then um the not this thursday but next thursday uh now that this is back i'll cast out class our bi-weekly pathfinder 2e actual play uh is really amazing um so amazing that i'm making meredith do fan art for that too because i need more of her awesome work um, you should hire her and stuff. It's really great. Um, and there's a bunch of really, really cool shit coming up really, really, really soon that I'm really fucking stoked about. So you should follow me and find out. Okay, bye. <laughs> you Stephanie. Oh, no, that's and me. Oh, no, <laughs> right. right, yeah. Stephanie, right. Hey. You're the last hey, everybody. I'm Stephanie. I'm TNTLs everywhere. And I can be found here doing lots of things, soon to be lots more things. Um, I'm here every Sunday doing this, causing uh, adorable chaos. Uh, every other Wednesday, right? Starting now? Yeah, okay. <laughs> every other Wednesday-ish, uh, doing more Dragonlance, Dragons of, uh, no wait, Legacy of Chaos. Um, and then also every other Monday playing Doctor Where the Fuck. Uh, soon to be uh, also every other Monday playing our new Monster of the Week game, which I'm really, really excited about. I, I chose the Divine Playbook, so I get to be a Valkyrie, and I'm super excited about this because I, I chose a character, and Ryan's like, I don't know, that might be too weird for what I had going on. I'm like, okay, <laughs> hold my beer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> More weird. And I made it weirder for some somehow. I don't know, but... <laughs> Regardless, very excited. I know, right? It's crazy how I did that. She um, went from a ghost <laughs> to a celestial. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you don't want to go that weird. Sure. How about this? <laughs> you want something tangible. Okay. <laughs> um, Corporeal, yeah. Right? But uh, also this Friday, I'm going to be doing Helping Hard Hands. I'm really excited. I'm going to be playing in uh, Maddie's Strixhaven game and Ryan's a uh, retirement home game which is gonna be great uh and oh gosh i think that's everything oh i make dice bags that's a thing <laughs> you do. i guess oh, i don't have one yet. i guess that's a thing no it's fine i make dice <laughs> bags tntels dice bags .com. i'll make your dice bags look like your characters uh jacob i have the things that i needed so your bag is coming very soon ah, um i know I'm right so <laughs> uh that's gonna be finished this week and uh yeah so that's that's everything now officially <sighs> oh one, th one last thing um i wear these on thursday so you definitely gotta come and fucking uh, see me in my kasume face but <gasps> one last thing i want to teach yes. about my uh uh the uh helping harkins game that uh i'll be running there will be a volcano and there will be turtles oh i am and you say turtles turtles oh okay and they will be K-Line Pie. And what? And they will be K-Line Pie. Oh, okay. Wait, Volcanoes, Tortles, and Key Lime Pie. That, what? K-Dub, baby, K-Dub. K-Dub! <laughs> I don't know, but... Sounds like a fun Dragons time. Inside joke. <laughs> I'm sure. excited. Sure. I'm so excited. why not? All you gotta say, man, K-Dub. It's K-Dub. K-Dub. <laughs> Gang gang. Oh my god. Gang gang. <laughs> <laughs> totally. 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 Like, for sure. Um, oh, so, thanks so much for joining us, folks. We're all idiots here, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, but um, we appreciate that we're your idiots. So, um, so, remember Black Lives Matter, trans rights are motherfucking human rights. All right. 
-hmm. Stop Asian hate. Free the fucks. And, you know, just don't be a dick. Okay? <laughs> Play some butts for Friday. And all the butts um, on all the days. Not just Fridays. Or, as I like to call it, Friday. Um, and we're going to go raid our friend Spook. And, uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Imperial. Are they? Oh, good. They're still on the list. Okay. Playing Seven Days to Die. Um, Ooh. which I have a couple shirts in the shop. The Seven Ways to Die. Um, with the seven dice. I it's, have that shirt. Yeah, it's really clever. Um, anyway, play on words. Start the raid. We're going to go raid Spook. Show them the love. Show them your butt. Don't show them your butt. What? You know. <laughs> Consent. <laughs> no butts on Twitch. I mean. Consent. Yeah. You know, you know. But you can show them the butt in your heart. Okay? Wow. That was like really a deep. Because a heart is like a butt. And a heart hand is like a butthole. So, bye buttholes. <laughs> bye buttholes. <laughs> and okay. Okay, but can we get a shirt that has like a little peach over your heart that says show them the butt of your show 